Hello, UCAR. Peter Christensen here coming to you from a CEO's desk, continuing on with our quick hitting basics. So we're moving from uh, agency to contract law. We're going to talk about, a little bit about contracts and the REPC specifically to begin with. So first concept I want to talk about is earnest money. So what are the basics with earnest money? Well, you indicate in the uh, contract usually that you're doing four, you're going to submit it four calendar days from acceptance of the contract. Now, remember, four calendar days means it starts on the day after. So you, if you got acceptance on Thursday, then Friday's day one, Saturday two, Sunday three, Monday is the date. That's the deadline. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's over a weekend. It doesn't matter if there's a holiday in there, federal or otherwise. It's for calendar days. So in contract law, that means just days. Okay, so for calendar days, by when? Well, the REPC indicates, so you look to the contract, all deadlines referenced in this contract are going to be 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, 5 o'clock. So have it in by then. Delivered to uh, the brokerage or wherever it's going. Now, remember, by default, it goes to a brokerage. If you're going to take it to a title company, you got to amend the contract to change that. All right, 5 o'clock. Do you notify if you get it in, when you get it, as an agent? Let's say you're the buyer's agent. You're going to hold, your brokerage is going to hold the uh, earnest money. Do you notify? Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. It's just a good idea. It's uh, helpful. It's friendly. I know when you're on the listing side, you want to get that confirmation usually. You certainly cannot lie about it. So if you're asked, you can't say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's there when it's not. Uh, so don't lie for sure. And then uh, I, I've been through this in prior videos, but you should probably report it. I think there's a strong case you're violating the code of ethics and probably state law if you do not report when earnest money is not received on time. So be careful of that. Make sure your buyer is just aware of uh, when to get that in, how to get that in, and that they're they're on, on top of that. And then uh, notice it says delivered. So in the mail, um, you know, hung up at their bank. That's not delivered. And so it's got to be in the hands of the people who will be holding it uh, to be delivered. Uh, so anything else is, is a breach of the contract and can result in a termination of the contract. So uh, hopefully that helps. Remember, this is not legal advice. This is legal information only. If you need specific legal advice, please contact your attorney. We can talk a little bit more maybe in a different video on, on amounts, what's uh, the plus minus of that and what the effect of earnest money is. But this is just kind of how it works basically in the contract. Again, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.